in this lecture let us take an example the autocorrelation function of a random process x of t is given below r x x of tau is equal to a naught square over 2 cos of omega naught tau and the question is find the power density spectrum so the autocorrelation function can be written in the form e to the j omega naught plus e to the minus j omega naught over uh, 2 okay so a naught square over 2 times or 4 times e to the j omega naught tau plus e to the minus j omega naught tau now we know the relation between uh, the autocorrelation function and the power density spectrum so the power density spectrum as i said is denoted by s x x of omega is the fourier transform of the autocorrelation function so you take the fourier transform so that means essentially we need to find out e to the j omega naught tau what is the fourier transform and then e to the minus j omega naught tau so one thing is you can substitute this in the fourier transform equation and you can find out like a uh, integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x of t e to the minus j omega t into dt so this is one way uh, but it's no <coughs> kind of little lengthy process so instead of that we can use fourier transform property once even if you do that you don't get the uh, you know finite value okay so it needs a little bit tricky in that so instead of that what we do is we will take the uh, you know properties from the fourier transform we know that uh, you know it's a digression for this problem so it's not related to this problem just recall from your signals and systems so you have a signal x of t take fourier transform you will get a x of omega now there is a property called a frequency shifting property this property says you take a signal x of t multiply by exponent e to the j omega naught t and then in the frequency domain the spectrum is shifted by omega naught so this is called a frequency shifting property now this property we are going to use it here see here also you have e to the j omega naught and uh, here also you have e to the j omega naught okay only a tau and a t dummy variable it's not a problem now um, like uh, we know the inverse Fourier transform formula like 1 over 2 pi integral of x of omega e to the j omega let's say tau d omega it is the inverse Fourier transform right you will get a time domain expression here okay time domain expression now now 1 over 2 pi integral minus infinity plus infinity you put a you know delta signal frequency domain impulse function e to the j omega naught tau times uh, d tau this property already told you whenever you have you know inter like this if you come across that is uh, um, integral of phi of t times del of t times dt which is equal to phi of 0 so in the phi of t i have this one okay so substitute t equal to 0 then this is 1 by 2 pi then this is going to be e to the j omega naught so sorry this is uh, omega okay uh, into d omega i am sorry this also omega exponent is not omega naught it's i am inverse for it and so on so omega equal to 0 therefore this is 0 times tau so this is 1 by 2 pi therefore this expression is inverse Fourier transform of frequency domain 
impulse function is 1 over 2 pi del of omega e to the plus j omega tau d omega I am sorry this also omega let me write properly <coughs> del of omega e to the j omega times d omega so therefore this is going to be um, 1 by 2 pi right and uh, this 2 pi and that 2 pi will get cancelled so suppose if i multiply 2 pi here 1 by 2 pi integral of 2 pi times del of omega e to the j omega tau d omega which is equal to 1 so what is the meaning of this one it says inverse Fourier transform of 2 pi del of omega is 1 so that means in the time domain you have 1 in the frequency domain you have 2 pi times del of omega okay now by you now you apply the time frequency shifting property like x of t if you take Fourier transform you will get x of omega then x of t times e to the j omega naught t if you take Fourier transform you will get x of omega minus omega naught now the same now you apply this concept here so instead of x of t you put 1 then e to the j omega naught t then what will you get you will get x of omega sorry <coughs> now listen carefully if you have x of t then you will get a capital x if you have 1 then you will get 2 pi times del of omega but you have another factor here because of that the frequency will be shifted frequency shifting property so instead of simply omega you will be having minus omega naught that's all so this is a transform therefore e to the j omega naught t has a Fourier transform of 2 pi del of omega minus omega naught so this is a property that we are going to use in this problem okay so <coughs> where is it here this one that one is going to be s x x of omega is equal to a naught square over 4 e to the power of j omega naught that means 2 pi times del of omega minus omega naught if you have plus sign then you will get minus here plus 2 pi times del of omega plus omega naught that's all so and this 2 pi you can take it outside mm. a naught squared pi over 2 within this del of omega minus omega naught plus del of omega plus omega naught now if you draw the uh, um, autocorrelation function it is a naught okay <coughs> let me draw the figure okay a naught square over 2 cos of omega naught tau it is a cosine function so just draw a cosine function it keep on oscillates the maximum peak occurs at uh, a naught square over 2 and zero crossing occurs at the point pi by 2 omega naught and this is going to be minus pi by 2 omega naught so this is the autocorrelation function then your uh, power spectral density sxx of omega is equal to a naught square pi by 2 times del of omega minus omega naught 
plus del of omega plus omega naught that means in the frequency axis or omega axis you have two impulses one impulse is located at omega equal to omega naught with the amplitude of a naught square pi over 2 and another uh, impulse is located at omega is equal to minus omega naught with an amplitude of a naught square pi over 2 so this is the uh, power density spectrum <coughs> of the wide sense stationary random process because the given function is wss process why the autocorrelation function is a function of the time difference tau it is independent of the parameter time <coughs> that's it now let me consider one more example a wide sense stationary random process x of t has an auto correlation function acf or x x of tau is equal to a naught times 1 minus mod tau over capital T the range is minus t less than or equal to t less than or equal to capital T and 0 elsewhere <coughs> Okay, now find the uh, power spectral density. So this also the same way what we did in the previous problem. Okay, so in this case we assume assume t is greater than zero. Of course the duration can be should be zero should be greater than zero. A naught is constant. T naught also t also constant and t also constant so both are constants now it's very uh, you know, pretty fast straightforward you can do this so sxx of omega is equal to integral of Fourier transform so rxx of tau e to the minus j omega tau times d tau now if you plot the function this rxx of tau it looks as follows it is a, like a triangle function minus t to 0 and uh, 0 to tt okay so <coughs> in this the mathematical equation for this 1 plus uh, tau by capital T and this one is 1 minus tau by capital T and of course the limit is from 0 to t here and here minus t to 0 so substitute in the limit integral of minus t to 0 1 plus tau by capital T multiply by e to the j omega na sorry j omega tau d tau I break the integration to two parts two intervals plus integral 0 to t 1 minus tau over capital T times e to the minus j omega tau and d tau and it's a you know pretty mechanical procedure just to integrate this and this also integrate this finally uh, <coughs> your equation will be this constant I forgot to put here a naught a naught and here also a naught so this is going to be a naught times uh, the pulse duration I mean the duration t times a c a square sync function s a square of omega t over 2 so this is the auto -coral power spectral density of the given triangular function now if you want to plot this the function look like, looks like this it is a square function no? there is no negative value it always takes positive that is one of the property that we discussed it is always always what non-negative <coughs> non-negative even function and real these three things you should remember so therefore it should not go to the negative and it should go it uh, it uh, you know varies in only in the positive side like this 
it never comes to the negative side this is a negative side it will not come like this this is wrong okay it goes like this first zero occurs at uh, 2 pi by t and this side minus 2 pi by t and so on so forth second zero 4 pi by t and this is minus 4 pi by t and the maximum occurs at uh, a naught t that's it this is the power spectrum of the given autocorrelation function okay so this is a kind of simple example <coughs> you can practice some more problems from the textbook thank you thank you very much